Hi class. How are you today? That's great. All right. So the learning target for today is to write an equation of a line given two points. So what's going to happen is I'm going to give you two points, and then you have to then find out the slope and the y-intercept to write the equation of the line. First, we're going to start before that, though, and I'm going to give you a slope and a point and go from there. So let's get started. All right. So first, we're going to start where I give you the slope and a point that the line goes through, and I want you to give me the equation. So what's going to happen here is, remember, the equation of a line can be written like this. y equals mx plus b, where m is your slope, and b is your y-intercept. So first we're going to start by plugging in the slope. So since we know the slope, we're going to say y equals, now instead of writing m, we write the slope, which is 1 half. And then write the rest of it, x plus b. Okay? Now we need to find out what is the y-intercept in this case. So the way we can do that is we're also given a point. And remember, points are always written x, y. So in this case, 6 is your x and 2 is your y. So you can rewrite this equation and plug in x and y, and that'll leave only b, and then you can solve for b. So if we plug in our x and our y, so we're going to say instead of y, we're going to plug in 2. So that gives us 2 equals... 1 half, now instead of x, we're going to write 6, and put it in parentheses, just to show that it's 1 half times 6, and then leave the plus b. So first we plugged in our slope, then we plugged in our two points. Now we can just do this problem out and solve for b. So first, what's 1 half times 6? Well, 1 half times 6 is 3. So that's going to give us 2 equals 3 plus b. Now to solve for b, this is a positive 3, so we subtract 3 from both sides. And that will give us negative 1 equals b. So now we have our b. It's negative 1. So now we go back into this equation here and we plug in the slope and the y-intercept. So y equals the slope was 1 half x plus now the y-intercept was negative 1, so plus negative 1, or we can just say minus 1. And this is our final answer. So after we find out what b is, we have to go back into the original equation and plug in the slope and the y-intercept, the m and the b. Notice we don't plug the x and the y that we used in this equation back in. The x and the y stay x and y. Alright, so now in this problem, we have two points, negative 1, 2, and 1, 6. 
So first, we have to find the slope. So if you remember, x, y, x, y, to find slope, you have to put it in this formula. m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So remember, this was the first point. This is the x1, y1. This was the second point, x2, y2. So now we plug everything in. So this will give us y2 was 6, y1 was 2, so 6 minus 2, x2 was 1, and then minus x1, which was negative 1. And then we do the top and the bottom. 6 minus 2 is 4, and then... 1 minus negative 1. Remember, when you minus a negative, you have to add a positive. So these now turn into addition signs. So 1 plus 1 is 2, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. Please reduce it, especially in this case, because it's easier if you don't have a fraction that you can deal with whole numbers or at least reduced fractions are even easier. So, the more you can reduce it, the better you'll be. Alright, so now we have to plug this into slope-intercept form. So that's going to be y equals, and instead of m, we write 2, and then x plus b. Now, now we're starting off just like we were in the other problem. The only difference is we have two points here. It doesn't matter which of the points you pick. However, this is an x and this is a y. You have to pick the x and the y from the same problem. So, from the same point. So, if you pick this x, you have to pick this y. If you pick this x, you have to pick this y. So just to make it easier, I'll just pick the first one. So that means x is negative 1 and y is 2. So we're going to say 2 equals, the slope again is still 2, and then x was negative 1. So times negative 1 plus b. So now we do it out. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. So 2 equals negative 2 plus b. So it's a negative 2, so we add 2 to both sides to solve for b. And that'll give us 4 equals b. So in this case, b is 4. So now we go back into this equation and plug in our b. So that'll give us y equals 2 for the slope, x plus b, and b was 4. So again, this gives us an equation. Alright, so two more quick problems here. These are special cases. So again, we're given two points here. So with these two points, first we have to find the slope. So we plug it in. M equals Y2 is 4. Y1 is 4. X2 is 3. Y2 is negative 2. Or, sorry, uh, x2 is 3, x1 is negative 2. 4 minus 4 is 0, 3 minus negative 2, you add those, so that gives you 5. 
and 0 divided by anything is 0. So our slope is 0. So what's going to happen with that is if your slope is ever 0, remember from last time we said when your slope is 0, that means it's going to be a horizontal line. So your equation is going to be y equals some number. Now the number you pick, notice in this case we have 4 in both of these. So you look at your y's in both points. They should be the same number. If they are, that means you did the slope right. And so that means the number that they both are is what y equals. So y equals 4. In this case down here, y2 is 6, y1 is 2, x2 is negative 3, y2 is negative 3 x1 is negative 3. Sorry, I keep saying y2 for some reason. So 6 minus 2 is 4, and then negative 3, again, minus a negative, so you add them. So negative 3 plus 3 is going to give you 0. So 4 divided by 0, remember I said in the last video, you can't divide by 0. It's physically impossible. So Anything divided by zero is undefined. So if you have an undefined slope, again, remember I said this last video, that means you're going to have a vertical line. It's going to be x equals some number. Now the number for this is going to be, the x's should be the same, so it's whatever number both x's are, which in this case is negative 3. So your answer in this one, x equals negative 3. So if you get a slope of 0, then it should be y equals whatever your y is. If you get a slope of undefined, it should be x equals whatever x is. All right, that's it for the main video. Now for the sponge. All right, so here's the sponge. Make sure to attempt this problem, and if you get it right, you get a bonus point on the next test. So, finish this problem, then take a picture of your notes and the sponge activity, submit it to eBackpack, do it right now, or right after you finish the sponge. Have a good night.